Okay, so here's a problem dealing with a car that's accelerating on a level road and it goes from 5 meters per second to 35 meters per second in 20 seconds. And it wants to know what power. So we can start with our equation power equals, and the definition of power is work over time. And I look at the problem and it doesn't give me work, it doesn't give me time. So I do have 20 seconds, but still work's not there. So I try to think of a different way to do this. And I know that work is FD cosine theta. So I take that over the time. And if I draw my little car, it might look like a turtle. Um, and the engine force is forward, the displacement is forward, so the angle between those two is zero degrees and cosine of zero is one. And then I can take distance over time and change that to velocity, so power is force times velocity. Well, what's the engine force in this problem? Well, now we have to go back and do a um, Newton's second law, and we do the sum of the forces equals ma, and I can draw a free body diagram on my car and I have normal up, gravity down, engine force forward. There's no resistance force mentioned, so I don't use that in this problem. So I have engine force is mass times acceleration, and I have the mass is 900 kilograms, so I can put that in there. Uh, then I need to find out what the acceleration is, and it gives me the initial final velocity in time, so I can use kinematics, and I can do that. I can put the initial or the final velocity of 35 meters per second, the initial velocity is 5 meters per second, and then I can add my time of 20 seconds and do some algebra, and I find out the acceleration is 1.5 meters per second squared, and then that goes back in my F equals MA, and I find that the engine force is 1350 newtons. That goes in with my power equals FV with... The velocity I choose is 35 because I need to make it all the way through this acceleration. I need to have enough power at the end to continue to get to that 35, so I use the 35. And that gives me 47,250 watts, uh, but then I need to divide by 746 to convert from watts to horsepower. And finally, I end up with 63 horsepower um, that's needed for this acceleration.